Hello everybody, it's Jackson the Saxon here again, as always. I'm in a good mood today. Let's begin. Today we're doing two books, uh, and then next time we move on to Unit 3. Unit 3 is crazy. But uh, let's do this. Two books today, so it's not an easy task. Let's take care of business. Mish look at this a handers. Vish look at this a handers. Vish and the mish look at this a handers. So, I like the dog, you like the dog, you and I like the dog. But we don't really, what we're saying here is the dog is pleasing. And you and I are just indirect objects of the dog's likability, right? We learned that before. From the very first book we've been learning this like. I just hope you're, you're catching on. It's a little bit hard. Mish look at the tree. Vish look at the tree. Vish and the mish look at the tree. So, tree with an A, tree, is the singular. Tree is the plural, right? So because the trees are the doing the action here, the trees are doing the action, is lekenti. Because like follows the, the one that's doing the action, right? The verbs follow the nominative, which is the one doing something. Here the trees are doing something, they are being likable, okay? So I like trees, you like trees, you and I like trees. But what we're really saying is trees are pleasable to, <laughs> trees are pleasing and you and I are the indirect objects of that pleasability, of that likability, right? So, you want toys, I want toys, you and I want toys, but here we're using the and ek because we're the ones doing the, act, the actions, right? We're wanting toys. So yeah, like is just a special verb. It's very strange. The other ones don't act like that. The other ones are just normal, right? So, Want is uh, I'm doing it, you're doing it. I want toys, you want toys, you and I want toys, right? <laughs> yeah, she's like a strange. This look at the stone, me look at the stone, uncle's look at the stone. So you like stone, I like stone, and uh, we, the two of us, uncle's is us too, right? Dual, we like stone. And notice the, the word here, like. It doesn't change, even though we're changing here from you, me, and us to, because it's not following us, it's following stone. We're just the indirect objects of this. You like me, I, I, I like me, you like me, uh, we like me, the two of us. The two of us, dual. Here's in the boothish. Unkish look at the boothish. Unkish look at the lock the boothish. Okay, here are booths, shops. Uh, we, the two of us, like shops. Uh, we like toy shops. But look here, look there, it doesn't change. Toy doesn't change because it's more like a prefix. So it just sticks with the original base form. Even though it's attached to, uh, even though the word is attached to here, booth, is in the plural, the plural form, right? It's boothish. So, do can fish can them. Ek can fish can them. Where can the fish can them? You can fish. It's not can't. It's not a contraction. Uh, in Proto-Germanic, can't means can for you. So you can fish. I can fish. The two of us, wet. Us two, right? It's not wish. It's wet. Wet can the fish can the. We can fish. Us two can fish. We two can fish. And fish can the is the verb form of fish. So this fishkish, fishkish, a fish, right? Fishkish. And fish can the. It means to fish. <laughs> the will is gamma. Ek will gamina. It is the gamina. So you want fun. I want fun. It is fun. And here, it is just the, the neuter form, which leads to modern English it. Because it is an abstract. We're not saying we're not saying the shoe is fun. We're not saying fishing is fun. We're just saying the situation, this this experience is fun. So it's an abstract idea. It's just it, right? Yeah. It's just the bolt. Mish look at the bolt. Bolt look at the gammon. Uncle's look at the his handers. So he is bolt. Uh, I like bolt. Bolt likes fun. And the two of us, we like this dog. So ish, he, his, this, right? It has H in front of it, like here. So it means this, this proximal. Here is the summer water. Mish look at that water. Here is the stone and here is the mud. So here is some water. I like the water, like, I like that water, I like the water, it's fine. Here is stone and here is ma. So remember, you probably noticed, and if you haven't, I'm going to explain it real quickly. Uh, Proto-Germanic doesn't have the definitive article, right? The. We don't have the word the. 
so what we do, uh, if you look back historically, like all the way back to, to Goth, and like basically Goth would be the best example, what they do is they use uh, that, right? They use the word that to represent the definitive uh, article. So instead of the, we say that. And actually the word the evolved from the word that, but through a long process of changing this way and that way. But uh, anyways, we're just going to stick to that. It's the most base, I mean, of all the choices we have, it's the best choice for translating the word the. So that, yeah, so uh, I like the water, right? But what it's really saying is I like that water. Here's stone and here is me. Here, oh, this is fun, a new word. Here is this, my understanding. Here is the summer water. See that water. Yot is this in the water. So yot is you too, right? The two of you. And is this is the word are, right? Are. But it's the word are for two people. Is this. So here the two of you are. Here yot is this, my understanding. Here is some water. See into that water, right? So see into because here we have an accusative, right? So see into that water, and the two of you uh, are in the water. <laughs> you can see here they are there in the water, right? Mm. One second. Mm. Ah, coffee. Yeah, let's get started. Let's continue. Here is the stone. It's look at the water. It's here than the hunter. So hunter is the in the water. In the look at it. So here is stone. He likes water. He has the dog. The dog is in the water. He likes it. Uh, this is all stuff we've learned, right? The only thing is, you know, like the, uh, the inflections, right? The inflections like emo is the dative. Ish is the, uh, the nominative, right? Uh, sa, sa, nominative. Vano, accusative. He's having something done to him. He's being had. So here we have three inflections. And you should know these three by now. Nominative, the one doing something. Accusative, the one having something done to them, right? And the dative, the dative is the indirect object. It's just, it's just there. It's either like the room that the thing is taking place in, or it's just there indirect, like indirectly being part of the sentence. Mahir the ano ball. It is the forty bolt. Bolt is to here. It's really than a ball. Okay, May has a ball. It is for bolt, right? Ish is he, so the balls are, are masculine, so it's he is for bolt, the ball. Bolt is here, and he wants the ball. Here is the iron chairway. Bolt sehore in that chairway. New word. Is sick of the stone in the mire. Here is in the environment chairway. Okay, here we go. Here is a tree. Bolt sees into, so into, right? Because here is accusative. Bolt sees into the tree. He seeks, he seeks, right? Looks for, he's looking for, he seeks stone and may. So, circuitin is seeks, circuitin. And they are in the tree. And here, the tree is dated because they're not going into the tree, they're in the tree. It's a place that they're in. So, you can look at this for a moment, make sure you understand it all. Out in trewe, it's a dative, right? For tree. See here, see the mayor. See here, stone. Come and see. Stone, come and And here you see when they. So look here, says May. See here, stone. Uh, come and see. Stone comes and they see. So come is comes. See when they is sees, right? A uh, see. So come comes. One person is doing the action. Third person, singular. And see when they, you know, multiple people are doing the act uh, action. Something you may have noticed by now. When we talk about they, they, we never use a dual form. Look here, iu is they, right? Maybe you notice this, maybe you haven't. Here, there's only the two of them that are seeing. But we're using the plural form. Proto-Germanic doesn't have a dual person, uh, uh, third person dual. We don't have third person dual. In other words, you can't say they two. We can say we two, right? Us two. You can say you two. But you cannot say they two. It doesn't have it. The, the ancestor language of Proto-Germanic, uh, Proto-Indo-European Pi, it has this, right? And I think, I think Latin has it as well. But in Proto-Germanic, it's gone. We just use they, as in uh, the plural.
Did I, did I translate this? Yeah, I think so. Here sind the summer sweet language. Summer sind the for the stone and summer sind the for the mail. Here we have the summer sweet language. Here we have the sweet language. Easy enough. One second, my throat's a little bit dry. <laughs> Here are some sweets. Some are for stone and some are for May. They have some sweets. They like sweets. Okay? Yeah, so you can look here. Here, uh, sweet language, that's the nominative, right? Because when we say are, following the, the, the verb be, right? He is, she is, uh, uh, they are. We don't need to change it to the, the accusative. It's not having something done to it. It's still the thing doing the action, right? It's still the nominative. So sweet language here is in the nominative form, right? Because here are some sweets. Whereas here, sweet language is in the accusative because the sweets are being had, right? The same for some. Some are some inch, right? It's the one doing the action. It's having the action done to it. Stone will have and the boat will have happen. It will happen before the gamma. Can you drop an over it, stone for any of So stone uh, wants to leap and boat wants to leap. They leap for fun. Can you leap over it? Stone asks May. And nothing new here. Yeah, say the May. Yeah, it can drop an over it. It will drop an over Say stone, say it can drop an over it. So yeah, says May. Yeah, I can leap over it. I want to leap. C, 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 or C stone, C. I can leap over it. Stone and the ma fall into the booth. It will fall in the booth to seek and summon his fishkins. Stone heavier than the hand that it may heavier than the fishkin. So stone and may travel to the booth. They travel into, into the booth, right, to seek some fish, to, to look for, to get some fish. We can just say to get some fish, to seek some fish. Stone has the, the dog, and May has the fish. Here, nothing too hard. We have seek again. We learned seek. But here, seek again, it's in the uh, infinitive form, right? Because it's following two. So it's in the infinitive form. So fish is far in the end that water. In that water, it is far in the boat will than a fish can. No boat, no sake the stone. No, no, no sake the mouth, two than a hundred. So the fish go into, finally go into, right? Travel into the water. In that water, they go. Into that water, they go. So into that water, they go. It's just another way of saying they go into the water. Both want the fish. No boat, no, says stone. No, 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 says uh, May to the dog. Stone in the mouth, here with the gamina. Here cream the stone, here cream the mouth, here it is cream in the. Uncle's look at it, it is second thing. So stone and May have fun. Here comes stone, here comes May. Here they come. Uh, we like it, they say. Right? And this we is the dual person we, the, the dual we, right? Us two. The two of us like it, they say. And it is an abstract concept, right? So it's just in the neuter form of it, they say. Oh, new word. New word, new word. Okay. Mm. Look here. Look here. Jani. Jani. Jani means try. Like try, experiment, test it out, right? Rani. Here and Rani. Rani here is in the imperative form, single person imperative. But we've been using the single person imperative for the form of like have a try, where here's a noun, right? Have a have a have a run, have a jog, have a jump, have a have a smoke, have a try. These are all verbs that are functioning as nouns, like gurns, but they're not gurns, right? They're yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure what they are. Yeah, I, I try to... I, I've, it's weird because I've looked so hard to try to figure out what they are, but they're just treated as normal nouns. But obviously, they're not just normal nouns. They're verbs that are functioning as nouns, like a gurn does, but they're not gurns. So what they are, I have no idea. But what I found out is in all the dramatic languages, we all have them, and they all use the imperative form. So 
uh, have a try, have a try. Here that in the run, say the mara to stone. Yeah, say the stone. Is there anything? Do you want to say the stone to mara? Ma here that in the run. So have a try, says uh, May to stone. Yes, yeah, says stone. He tries. You try. This try is subjunctive, right? So remember, remember. When we had the imperative form, we put it in the beginning, right? We put it in the beginning of the, the, uh, the sentence. So like, we just say, Rani. It means try, you try. But if we say you in front of it, we can't say Rani. What we have to use is Rani in the imperative form. So you try. So not imperative, sorry, the uh, subjunctive form. You try, says Stone to May. May has a try. Mm. Here is some of him to say the mayor. Oh, a new word again. Ah, I love it when there are new words. Yeah, it makes the videos more fun too for me. Here is some of him to say the mayor. Yeah, say the stone. Do all the here in the summer. Mayor, say the stone. Yeah, miss look at the mayor say with it. Okay, have some of of. This is of right. Some of have some of this. Him, this, right? And him is in the uh, dative form, right? It's the indirect object. So have some of this, right? So think of of means, of means, what does it really mean? This means like from, of means to take away a part of something, right? Of. So it's from this. You're taking, you have a larger thing and you're taking a piece of it. It's of, right? So because you're taking a piece of this larger thing, this larger thing is the indirect object, right? Some here is the thing that's being had, and it's of the bigger indirect, the, the bigger indirect object, it, right? Of this, sorry, this. So have some of this. So this is the larger collective, and have some of this. Here is some of the ev here, my safety, my. Yes, says Stone. You also uh, need to. Darft. Darft means need to. So darft. So before we learned mut, uh, and it means like uh, must, right? That's where the English word must comes from. And all the dramatic languages have this also, it's fine. But uh, in olden times, thuf was far more common of a way of saying you need to do something. So sometimes I'll use mut, but uh, a lot of times I'll use thuft, thuft, right? So it's easier to use uh, mut because mut you can relate to because it's must, right? And you're like, oh, must, I can understand how they're using it here. Whereas we don't have the word thuft anymore. We just don't use it. But it's important to, to know the words, so I'll switch between them. I'll switch between them so we get, get the feel for it. You also must have some, May, says Stone. Yeah, I like it, May says. So look here, remember that word, tharft. And you'll see it in different forms later on. I'll use it more and more, and I'll mix it up. Also, ab is important. Here it is far in there. My will have fallen into home. So I will have fallen into home. And the hundreds will have fallen into home. Yeah, was will have fallen into home. So here they go. Here they here they go. Here they, go. Here they travel. May wants to go to home. Remember, go to home because home is a uh, a noun, right? It's a noun. It's not a. It's not an adverb, right? So we have to say to home. Stone wants to travel to home, and the dog wants to, I'll just say, go home, go to home. Yeah, we want to go home, they say. <sighs> oh my God, and we're only halfway done. Okay, <sighs> take a breather, <sighs> and we're back. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the rest. Now let's continue book two. Bam. <laughs> Moon and the sun send the here. Sun here than the locker. Moon here than the ball. Star nice to hear. Moon and sun are here. Sun has a toy. Moon has the ball. Star is not here. Nice. To, not is not here. Bam bam bam. Pew. Stone seek that locker. What him a look at him. That locker nice to hear. Is seek that locker. So star seeks the toy which. Here's what, what he likes. He seeks the toy, what he likes. It's the neuter of wash. Wash, basically who, why, where, when, blah, 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 blah. They all come from the word wash. And this is the neuter of wash. Uh, of wash. So what, English what. 
right? Or some people say, what? But what? And uh, so Star seeks the toy, what he likes. Um, we could think of it as which he likes. He seeks the toy, which he likes. The toy is not here. Uh, he seeks that toy. Here it is Cindy. Here it is Cindy and I'm not Moon, it can drop in. Can't do drop in the swear it can. No, son. No. <laughs> so here they are. Here they are in a tree, right? And here this is A. It's in the dative form, right? Uh, in a tree, the dative uh, neuter form. And here's tree. Moon, I can leap. Can you leap like I can? No, son. No. Wow. <laughs> See here, moon. See him. Here in the moon. See him. It's comedy and see him. So, see here, moon. See this or look at this, right? Uh, in is inside. So here inside, inside here, moon. See, see this. He comes and sees. You're seeing the than the fish can die in Moon see it than the fish can die in water. No, sir. No, the no can he ever in the. Is nice to for a thick. So they see, so Sehwendi is the C for plural. They see the fish in the water, right? Uh, in a singular fish. Uh, moon sees the fish in the water. No star, no. You cannot have him, right? He, uh, he is not for you. So fish can hlop in the, he's hlop it up. See in the hlop in the. Image look that is equal than a fish can. So the fish can leap. He leaps up. Excuse me. Yeah. See, uh, see him leap. Uh, they like to see the fish, right? Yeah, that's all that. Swami say it is sun. It is the gamma. Yeah, swa sun say it is the moon. Uncle's look at it. Swa means thusly or like this. Like this, moon says to sun. It is fun. Yeah, like this, sun says to moon, we like it, or us two like it, Unkish, not unsish, unsish is we, Unkish is we too. Yeah. Eris in the end of the booty, Equilla in the ball of thank, say the moon, yeah, say the sun, and the Equilla in the boat of thank. What can I hear in a gammon, either say the? So they are in uh, the booth. I want a ball, thanks, or please, says Moon. Yes, says Sun, and I want a boat, thanks. We can have fun, they say, right? And come is a uh, can for wet. Wet is we too. We too can have fun. Here there is, you say, the Moon. With will you have a gammon? See, neither criminal is abolish. Yeah, here is criminal. Neither, neither is the So here they are, says Moon. Uh, sorry, here you are, says Moon. We will have fun. See, down comes the ball. Yeah, here he comes. Down, down, uh, he says. And remember, the ball is a he because uh, it's masculine, right? The grammar is masculine. Quem here, Moon in the sun. No, no, no. This is my bad. I wrote the wrong thing. It shouldn't be quem here, right? Because he's addressing two people. It should be quemidish. Quemidish. Quem is the imperative for one person. Quemidish is the imperative for two people, right? It should be quemidish. Quemidish here, moon and the sun. Sorry. <laughs> summer for the thick sun and the summer for the thick moon. The nook is here in this sun. Here is the summer water for the thick. So come here, moon and sun. Some for you, sun, and some for you, moon. You cannot, ne, ne. So can, ne, cannot. Have it, star. Here's some water for you. Stern seek that lock there. It's really it. In the lock there at water. No, stern. The no can hear you need. See, no, stern in the lock there. So, star seeks the toy. He wants it, right? He likes the water. No, star. You cannot have it. She is not a toy. And this is an oar, right? An oar's are feminine in Proto-Germanic. There's a feminine noun, so it's she. She is not a toy. Here is the Sabotish moon and the sun. Oh, so we learned this word last time, ra. Ra means try, right? And here's the imperative, the dual imperative. Raniyathish. Raniyathish. So you two, try it. 
So try him because it's a boat, right? So you two try him. Try him out. Still no me farne in daima bote. A star may not go in the boat, right? He may not inside the boat travel. Still look at the farne in that water. Ich klappe dir in. Mun segi dir. Ich will es weg zu kommen dir in son. Neu neu mun. So let's look here. Stone look at the far in that water. Star likes to go into, into the waters. Into because it's that water. He hops, uh, he leaps in. In here should have two ends because it's an adverb, not a preposition. It's changed the word leap. He leaps in, inward. He leaps in. Moon says, I want you to come in, son. So, in. I want you to come in, right? No, no, moon. Simple stuff. No, no, moon, right? Here is the moon's hearthish. See, see the sun. And this fish is in the mahatr. So fish in the So fish in the mahatr were slapping the up. It's slapping in that water. So here is moon's hat. And you see for moon's, uh, I just put it as like in modern English, like PR S. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm speaking Chinese. I've lost my mind. PR S. What is PR? It's like apostrophe S. I speak Chinese, Chinese sometimes. I forget to speak English, my bad. <laughs> I've been in this country for too long. Anyway, so here is Moon's hat, right? Because Moon, we're not going to use the inflections or anything like that. We're just going to keep it simple English to not complicate things, right? So here is Moon's hat. Uh, C says, son, the fish uh, is in the hat. The fish in the hat leaps up. He leaps into the water. Here is the summer sun in the moon. So Honda's clapping the up. Neither son, neither. Yes, then, do you can't have any summons. Each can have any summons, say the sun. This part is tricky. Do you know what it says here? I bet you I bet you mistook it to say he cannot have some. Uh, you cannot have some. But actually, she's saying you can have some. So she's telling him not to leap up. She's saying don't leap up. You can have some. Right? Don't be impatient. So, have this means have in the imperative, dual imperative, right? For two people. Have some sun and moon. The dog leaps up. Down star, down. Uh, yeah, star, you can have some. You can have some. He can have some, says son. He can, not cannot. Remember, can't means can. Say, moon, say. See at the end of the son. Far in that water, thank. Moon, say the to the hundred. So, see, moon, see. See at the, uh, look at it. Look at it. So, I put at here. We could have at, we could get rid of at. Both are fine. So, uh, see in, see, see him, see it, see at him, see at him. They're both okay. Like in English, you can say see at him or see at it. You could only say look at it. But in Proto-Germanic, you could say see at it. It's fine. The at doesn't really change anything, right? It's like the twos. A lot of times I'll throw twos in there when they're not really needed. Uh, it just makes it, you know, a little bit more understandable. There's nothing wrong with having at here. It just makes it more accusative. Just makes it more directional, right? See at him, says son. Travel, this is the imperative, singular imperative. Travel into that water, thanks, or please. Moon says to the dog. Sahanda Shlopri in that water. Far to in stern, see you say it. Here, Queen of the stern is here than the boat. So the dog leaps into the water. Go to it, or go to him, star, they say. So the two of them are saying. Here Quimri Stone, here, here Star comes, right? Here comes Star. He has the boat. See, I take the moon. That water here for the common is in. Oh. <gasps> Commonish. This is a new, a new kind of grammar we haven't learned yet. That water here for the common is in. Is Segethi. See that, Segethi son. Stone, see that. Okay, let's look at everything else first. Uh, see it or look at it, says moon. See that, says sun. Star, see that or look at it. Now look over here. The water has come in. So you probably understood it meant the water has come in, right? He said, but this form of, of come, commonish, is what's called the past participle, right? The past participle. In English, is like, I eat. I ate, I have eaten. You see, have eaten. Eaten here is the past participle, right? Okay, so 
Um, we spoke. Uh, we speak. We spoke. We have spoken. And in my accent, gotten. And I even say boughten or broughten, right? Which is a little bit non-standard. It's considered incorrect in modern English, but in Middle English, that's the correct way. And in early modern English, it was fine. So, you know, I think it's fine to speak that way, you know? And I stick to it. So, anyways, N, normally in modern English, we add E-N to the end of the word. It makes it the past participle. Some words don't have it. Like, a lot of people say got. Uh, like, in England, they always say got. Or they'll say bought. Or they'll say uh, brought. But they wouldn't say broughten, which is what it would have been said 200, 300 years ago, but not anymore by most people. So here, commonish is come. So the water has come in. We don't say coming in, right? So this one, we can all agree. No one says the water has come in. But it's the same, it's the same uh, here come. doesn't have that form. But in this position, it's the same meaning. It's still the past participle of come. Even though the past part of civil come is come, right? Unlike a lot of other words. So the water has come in, he says. Uh, look at that. We already translated all that. Let's move on. Anyways, this is a little bit tricky. It's the first time we've seen past participles. We'll see more of them later. Okay, and we learned uh, first, right? Here. So this is like umlaut. We learned umlaut, how the, uh, the verb can change. But sometimes the consonants can change too. So here... With a thrift, right? The B becomes an F. But here, with thurban, it stays a B. It's not an F, right? So yeah, sometimes it can be a little bit tricky, but you'll get used to it. Don't worry too much. With thurban father and save the moon. Yeah, with thurban father and save the sun. So we need to leave, right? And I should have written us farna. So it should be with thurban us farna. We need to depart. Uh, says Moon. Yeah, we should have an Ashvarna, say these sons. So we need to depart Ashvarna. No, no, stone. The no can hear in it. Hear the regime. Hear with Varna. So, no, no, star. You cannot have it. Here you are. Here you are. Uh, here we go. Here we go. It could also be here we Ashvarna. Here we depart. And that's that. Woo! That was a long class. Okay, next week, next week, unit three, we take it to the next level. Keep up the work. See you then.